hey hey today is day two of week one of the Jeff Galloway beginner half marathon training so it's Thursday and Thursday says 30 minutes so I'm going to do a five minute warm-up I'm going to set my intervals for one minute run one minute walk and I'm gonna go for 30 minutes I'm running at my normal spot in Hamilton I'm out here all by myself and I am super excited because this I can do the whole loop and it's typically right at two miles so I'm happy with that I'm gonna work on pushing myself a little bit harder than I did the other day but oh, there goes my timer to run but I'm gonna push myself a little bit harder than I did the other day just because I'm used to this track and it's for the most part very flat there's a little hilly section but it's nothing compared to what i was experiencing at old town the other day so let's go run Okay, so as most of the as most of the run Disney community knows by now, but we are going back to in-person running at Walt Disney World. Let's all do a happy dance, happy dance, happy dance. <gasps> you guys. I may have cried my eyeballs out when they made the announcement. A friend of mine, all she had to do was, whoop, it's run time. All she had to do was send a message that said, announced. And I knew, I knew it was in person. I have just been like hoping and praying about it so much because Run Disney is really a huge, motivating factor in my life for me to stay healthy so to have that news that things were getting back to normal or the new normal is just a breath of fresh air it's like an awakening i just so motivated now all right let's go run run Disney is back Whew. so the first in-person race is going to be in November 2021 for the wine and dine weekend there's a villains theme just like last year even though last year's got canceled but I'm gonna go as Tomatoa I believe that's his name he's the very shiny and sparkly crab from Moana and I'll be so shiny I really hope nobody saw that okay it's time to run again
really hoped that I could talk more during these walk breaks, but <sighs> it's still hot and humid in Georgia. And out of breath and out of shape. Really out of shape. However, so wine and dine weekend has been the perfect reward for even getting started back training because on my day one video there was no formal announcement there was nothing about a wine and dine weekend race my friend Rudd and I and a few others we just put our faith in God and just said let's start this and just see where it goes and the very next day almost like clockwork Ron Disney announced an in-person race <gasps> I just hit one mile. My split pace is 14 minutes, 45 seconds. Not too bad, but not that great either. One thing that I'm always trying to do is get faster on my runs because I know I could run fast. Like, I feel it. I just, when I'm in the moment, or just getting back into it, it's almost like I don't want to give out all my energy in my run intervals. Whew. Here's the hill. It's not that big of a hill, but it is a hill. consider myself like a runner but I've ran a half marathon and I've slacked and I've gotten off track and like just trying to start again and trying to be fast as I used to be and trying to learn to control my breathing which you can see I'm doing a horrible job at it's hard but like this video is going to help me stay committed and document this whole process and maybe by the end of it I won't be breathing like this again. Here's to hoping. Got run now. I hit 25 minutes. I have no more get up and go. So I've been walking. I'm at 1.9 miles and 27 minutes and 22 seconds. I'm tired. It's hot. Whew. Okay. So back to Run Disney. Run Disney also released the dates for Marathon Weekend. Princess Weekend, which is my everything. Like, Princess is just... There's no way I'm not doing Princess. And then there's a new Run Weekend called Springtime Surprise, I believe. Which a lot of people are upset about because Star Wars is no longer a run weekend theme. However, it looks like Run Disney is changing their or their theme for that weekend is just going to be uh, like about the parks. Like I'd love an Epcot run, or I'd love a Animal Kingdom run, or just encompassing a run that just encompasses encompasses includes 
I don't know the word I'm trying to use, but my apologies. Um, but one that just celebrates the spirit and the magic of what is Walt Disney World. So I'm kind of super excited about that. But I have not made a decision of participating in that or not. Because I'm already, I already have rooms booked for one and done weekend and for Princess Weekend. So I don't know, I don't wanna like overload my body or my schedule with training and consistent running. That's probably my failure. But anyways. <sighs> okay, I hit two miles. Let's see. 29 seconds. Goodness. I'm just gonna turn the this on. Today I'm also rocking my Vibram Five Finger Bikila LS. These are my favorite version of Vibram Five Fingers. And they're discontinued. So I try to keep these in the best condition possible and not wear them super often and not wash them super often. As you can tell, mine are dirty, but I can't buy them anymore. So I don't like to do a lot of miles in these shoes because I want them to last. Vibram Five Fingers, if you're listening to this, please bring the Bikila LS back, please. Okay, well, I'm at 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Let me end this. End. 30 minutes, 32 seconds, 2.06 miles, 14.48 pace. 14 minutes, 48 seconds, you know what I'm saying. So, that's day two. We haven't failed yet. And my story continues. Stay tuned.